Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. <laughs> not Mrs. Doubtfire. Anyway, well, you're right. It's not Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> okay. So come on in and tell us you're here so we can see a few people. Bill's in a very silly mood, so this might be quite an interesting Facebook Live. Hi, Julie. Hi, Julie. Hi, Jean. <laughs> Hi, Hi, France. France. <laughs> oh, what? We're going to just... Lufenzo! <laughs> so, Bill is in a super crazy mood. I'm not sure why. Hi from Pittsburgh. Hi, Pittsburgh. <laughs> You're just going to do this. I, I just got done telling him we should maybe face the camera on us sometime so that you can see just, I mean, he is extremely animated. Hi, Jill Peterson. <laughs> so I don't know if anyone noticed my post earlier about Rocket Man and then the Swedish chef, but um, that's what he's been doing. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta stop it's gonna kill me okay. here <laughs> but he's been singing rocket man and then going into the swedish chef from the muppets hi trina <laughs> so um if you don't know bill peck crazy crazy all right so let's get going on shall we sure Go okay ahead. so i hope everyone has been enjoying celebration it has been A so wonderful much, time so much fun and if you're new to my channel and don't know what it is, so every year Stampin' Up! has a huge sale where every $50 that you spend in my online store, they're going to give you something, at least for $50, whether it be paper. This time it was paper and stamps. Um, here's a stamp set and paper stamp set. And uh, go towards the back here, there are a couple of things where it's a it's a hundred dollar before you can earn like this um, two set stamp set or this paper and this stamp set together. So if some of you are like me and obsessed with Stampin' Up, you probably own all of it. I do. Yep, I do. I'll admit it. Mm. I have a problem. Four days left. Four days. There are days. only four days left on this offer. So mm -hmm. what else do we have, Bill? Oh, great time to join your pearls. That's true. You oh, know. Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin. Okay, so Paper Pumpkin. Um, I am super duper excited. I know you can't see this one over here, but it's like a, a sunshine ray. I cannot wait to get this. Of course, I always like the clouds too, but it says that it is a box journey that is mailed to you, let's see, with flower, with fields and wildflower and scenery of mountain majesty, enough to create eight cards, includes four free stencils, and a stamp and sponge. Embrace new, exciting techniques with this reusable stencil. So I'm kind of excited about that. You have until the 10th to sign up with that for me. I will post a link into my um, description if you're watching this later on YouTube, if that's something you're interested in. So Piccadilly Parfait has kind of taken off a little bit differently than what I thought, and because there's only four days, days left, left. <laughs> I'm going to do a Piccadilly Parfait on um, Friday at 4 p.m. Here's here's what you were wanting to talk about right That's here. That's right. It's a great time to join the pearls. It is. So with the four days ends the promotion for signing up. So if you'd like to be a part of my team, now let me just tell you, most of my team are discount shoppers. They just like to get their product for um, a discounted price. That's fine. Stampin' Up's fine with that. In fact, I think like 90% of the Stampin' Up! demonstrators are discount shoppers. Huh? So you don't have to, to sell or build a team or any or go on live like this. You don't have to do that. But they're having a special. So normally it is... $99 gets you $125 worth of product of your choice, not a kit that's just pre-made, it's of your choice. But right now they're having a special where they're going to offer five free 
um, DSPs for, from the next catalog, from the coming year's catalog. The one from June? Yes, that's coming Ooh. out. So they'll have neutrals, regals, subtles. Um, this is the 2020-2022 in colors and the brights. So this is kind wow. of a good deal. This is like, I don't know, close to $50, $60 right here in product. For free. For free. On for top free. of the... On top of the... 125 Yeah. Woo so this is a great time to join. Now, I don't want to discourage anybody who may want to do a business. If this is something that you'd like to do, definitely um, there's a way to get a little extra pocket cash for you. Um, also, if you are familiar with me, you know what the perks are, but if you're not, I do offer a rewards program that's basically, if you're loyal to me, you um, get a discount on um, every $35 that, that you purchase will go into a buy 10, get one free. And then last but not least, actually this one's kind of the most important. So I've kind of been stressing it and I've been talking about it with you guys. Um, for everybody who has spent $200 in retail orders in January and February, and let me just say, there are some of you that are like $20 away from getting this, and this is completely free with you. There's going to be demonstrations, even from the big guy over here. That's right. I'm making a card. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Playing, we'll see. I'm playing some of the games, too. He, he thinks he's going to play the games. There's going to be demonstrations. Oh, there'll God. be prizes. And I have like a card kit ready to go. I have products for you guys. So if this is something that you're interested, check where you are on your retail orders. Now, this is not including like the tax and shipping. This is just the retail on stamping up orders. If that's been some of the things that people are confused about. But I promise you a couple of hours of fun. Okay. Hello, Sue Thomas. Hi, Sue. How are you? So, I'm going to hand these Noelle to you. From. Hi, Noelle. Well, not my sister, Noelle, from wherever. Oh, okay. <laughs> you want to hand me I'll get you the one? first one. Okay. Let's go. So, because we're on the last little bit, I decided to pull out this um, designer series paper that I got completely free. And I just want you guys to see something. Free. I ordered at least $50 worth of stuff. Well, what's really kind of cool is that when you're a demonstrator and you order, um, you still get the discount. I just want to show you guys, like, I got, oh a, I got a few different packs of paper from them, and I have more than this. So, is that what that big boxes are from? That's what the big boxes are from. So, anyway, this one is the... Flower and Field Designer Series paper. And I wanted to use it tonight because I love free things. I'm sure you guys do. What? A tree. Well, you know, you got to sign up on YouTube. Yes. Yep. Follow and like on Facebook. If you are new to me, yes, I'd appreciate it if you followed me. Okay, so I'm going to set this all out. I just want to show you guys. I am going to use the Dragonfly Garden, and I want to use this image primarily on this card, and I'm going to use... Ooh, you're using the pencils. I'm going to use the pencils, and I'm going to use a blender pen. And I haven't demonstrated this in a long time. Trends kind of come and go and we get caught up in what's the newest thing, but uh, these are still in our annual catalog. We have two different sets with our colors, their customer colors, which is fun. I am going to be using, and this is a little dull, I'm going to be using the Daffodil Delight and the Granny Apple Green because, yeah. I have not been using that. You haven't? So I haven't been dull in your pencils. I don't know. Okay, so this was the Dragonfly Garden, and it does have a punch. Let me show them that, even though it goes to the other one. It does have a punch with it, so a matching punch that you can punch out the dragonflies. Um, you will save 10% if you purchase the two together. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
And I'm going to use the um, thank you for your kindness for the sentiment tonight. I, I'm also pairing that with the um, stitched rectangles. So I have that image right here, cut out, pre-cut out, so that we don't have to I like those. do it. And I'm going to show you. It's the largest one of the second. Oh, group. they want to know who I am. They want to know who you are. Well, why don't you introduce yourself? Well, I'm Bill. <laughs> <laughs> You're the He's, guy in the background. Yeah, <laughs> that is my husband, Bill. I'm the sidekick. That's who you're here with. The, <laughs> the sidekick. sidekick. Um, my husband, Bill, and sometimes he stamps with us. He is on call tonight, so he won't be stamping with us. Let me get a piece of paper to put down here underneath of this. But um, sometimes he does stamp with us. So I am going to ink up this image right now. And oh, man. The man. I'm the man. In <laughs> Memento Tuxedo Black. Sometimes he's distracting too, but <laughs> he's always some comic relief. So I'm going to be using. Oh, I used the wrong one. See, you're distracting. <laughs> what? Do you? I used Memento and I meant to use Stays On. Okay, I'm changing it up here to Stays On ink. The reason why is I'm going to use the blender pens. These are watercolor pencils. So when you're using the blends, you want the Stays On. When you're using um, anything that has a water base to it, wait, I said that wrong. When you're using the blends, you want the Memento ink. Um, and when you're using anything with water base, then you want the stays on ink. Boy, that was one big screw up. Yeah, but I'm the man. The but man, you, man. you guys quit pumping his head up. He couldn't well, wait to sing. I'm the production manager too. So. You are the production manager and you're slowing the production down. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp this image down. I'm, a, I'm your main squeeze. Who said that? Gene Shoot. <laughs> he is my main squeeze. He's the only squeezing. Okay. We're going to go with that. You distracting, you've distracted me, a squeezer. Okay. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and just put down some of, and it. don't worry about it filling it all in. We're going to spread this around anyway, so don't worry about getting it all completely filled in. Just put some of this pencil down. I think I'm going to go in here and just fill this in. We're going to be nice and simple tonight. Because I'm just going to try to get the color. And the blender pen is going to make all the difference in the world with this. So I'm going to come in here, especially on the leaves, and now I've switched it to the Granny Apple Green. So while I'm talking, what do you got to fill in the, or while I'm coloring, what oh, do you I'm got? I'm just leading. Oh, yeah. Make sure we use the that host code there. Oh, yes. Yep. If you are placing an order under $150, then be sure to use that host code with me and I do appreciate all of your orders. And going back to that appreciation days, pile of stuff is getting pretty tall over here. I just added another product to yeah. it. Uh, so it looks like Yep. <laughs> I did today. I was looking at some stuff and I thought, oh this would go really fun. So Okay, so I've just laid down some color. I don't have it, as you see, I don't have it filled in perfectly. I've just laid down some color because I'm going to use a blender pen here. And I'm going to come in and fill some of this in. And I'm going to do a, a little bit of yellow on this because that looks like it could be a, a daisy or a dandelion. So when you put this color down let me show you 
here's a blender pen. Okay. This is a well-loved little blender pen. So it will pick up color on this. I have no idea what's in it, but it will pick up color on it. And so I usually start with the lightest color. So you're going to come over here and I'm watch? I'm watching. Okay. I'm seeing. I'll just move to the side so you can see. So it comes in and it kind of smooths out this color. Wow. Can you see how it's pulling yeah, it, it down? Does. It pulls it, fills out the flower. Yeah. With this. I think I had too much of that other ink on there. I made a mistake. I should have cleaned it first. Nature's colors. So, as I'm going, I'm kind of, when the color mixes in, so I'm going to come back in here, and that's, you see how that one filled out oh, really yeah. well? Wow. Yeah. And I don't care if it's going outside of the lines, because this is kind of my impressionistic version. Mm. <laughs> You're not going to cut your ear off, are you? No, I'm not cutting my ear <laughs> off. <laughs> I'm telling you, it, this is how it's been. He's been kind of kooky tonight. We were on um, Amazon Echo with Mom just a few minutes ago, and he was making faces <laughs> at her. <laughs> so I figure if you can make faces at your mother-in-law, then. Yeah. Um, after you're done, yes. you might get the float up to the camera. Float it on up. Okay. Float it on up. It's just very impressionistic. I'm just putting some color down. All right, I'm going to put those off to the side and my blender pen. Clean off your blender pen in between colors. You can really tell a difference when it is something quite larger, but I didn't want to use the blends. This is such a small area, okay? So now I'm going to do one of those things that I do. I have a bunch of, I have a different size card for one. Oh, wow. So I'm starting with a three and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock. Three and a quarter by 11 inch. And I'm just gonna fold that in half. Now that will make it folded at the five and a half mark. These are some of my favorite cards, actually, size. I love to send these. Okay, so this is Bumblebee. I almost said hello honey again. Okay. On the inside I have um, for to write on is a three by five and an eighth for the white on the inside. Okay. I've got a couple pieces of DSP. So I have now this is a weird size for me. A two and fifteen sixteenths by three and thirteen sixteenths. Wow. Yeah, you like that? Mm -hmm. And I want to mat that on a three and an eighth by four inch piece of black. Couldn't go three by four by three, huh? <laughs> <laughs> or three by four, excuse me. I normally don't do that, but it was how it fit the best. Yeah. No, that's good. And it's, so I mean, those little lines on the ruler is for. <laughs> so, yeah, that's right. Use the rest of those lines. Ooh, this is hard to do on a black background. I should have left that other piece here. You should have. Okay. So I'm just going to mat this. I need that white piece underneath to see. Oh, crooked as heck. That's what I got that green glue for. Okay. That's right. So there we go. I need that quarter inch border and this is the reason why because when I measured the already um, frame cut piece I had to I wanted to get a certain border on that so this is this piece of black is one and seven eighths by three and seven eighths oh I like how I have this one <laughs> turned upside down I didn't even notice okay so this one goes here to give that same amount of edging that's why I had to do it because this is a funny so don't blame me 
blame Stampin' Up. Oh, it's the... It's the die's fault. It's the die's fault, huh? That's right. It's not mine. So the people who don't know you must be new. They must be. Did Welcome, you? though. Yes. Say hello. Hello. Tell us where you're from. What her name? Bill watches because I can't... I can't... Um, do this and demonstrate and answer questions at the same time. Okay, so let's come back here to our base. I've got the base. I'm going to hook this at the bottom, leaving an equal amount of border around the edge, but then except for the top. Thank goodness for green glue. This glue that I'm using, I call it green glue. It is Tombow Multi-Purpose Liquid Glue. Mm -hmm. Hi, Janet. Which Janet? Rose from California. Hi, Janet. Okay, we got that down. Now, I want to come back here. I am missing, there was nothing else. Oh, here it is. I'm not missing it at all. I'm going to take this ribbon. I love it because it has this little gold fleck in it. It is, because someone will ask, Fine Art Ribbon, and it's 3 8 inch wide. And it's got just this beautiful little gold fleck in it. So I am going to take a piece of this, and I'm just going to tie a knot, not a bow, a knot. Jamie, Jane from the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. Ooh, way up there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty up there. It's her first time. So, I have welcome. wanted to go visit the uh, Upper, well, Mackinac. Yeah. Everybody wants to go to Mackinac. <laughs> yeah. Well, when are you going to take me? I don't know. We'll go pick up France on the way. She lives in Lower you can Michigan. Go to the UP and not go through what Michigan. You can go through Wisconsin. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, now I'm trying to pull this down a little ways, and I'm struggling here. I tied that pretty tight, which is nice because it'll hold up on me. Okay, so let's trim these tails because they're a little crazy. Alice from Indiana. Hello. Hi, Alice. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to hand you that. So years ago is what I'm finding out. Years ago, the pencils came in a metal tin. Pencils did? Yeah, that's what it says. Several people have got them that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. The watercolor pencils, yep. Well, they used to have... Who remembers... Um, and I wish they'd bring it back, honestly, which they probably will because... Every now and again, things just change. But remember the chalks, the colored chalks? You don't remember, do you? Not me. It's because they haven't had them since I've been married to you. Uh, Bill and I have only been married for four years, four in, one years in one week. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like a prison sentence that no. you know it? <laughs> Last week was our anniversary special. So I am, that's right. Um, I am just using dimensionals to pop this up. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Sue Thomas says she still has the chalks. I do too. Where are they? Oh, probably downstairs with the retired stuff. I'm going to use my silicone mat here and just set this off to the side because I forgot I wanted to stamp. And I'm going to use the Memento ink. That is the Memento ink. It is this time. Hush. I want to make sure I got it dark enough. Do you guys do that? Hi, Alice. All right. So we're going to, I'm going to stamp this down at the bottom. From the late 90s, those chalks come from. No. That's what Joy says. She has some from the late 90s. Oh, she has some from them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... Well, they probably listen to good music. 
So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take this right here and pop this up. Mary Jo just got rid of hers. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Watch them come out in the next catalog. Yeah. Well, I kind of hope they do, honestly. So I've just popped that up. It's very simple. It's a cute little love note. I love it. You don't need to have um, a, a center, but I sometimes think they look finished, more finished. It just depends. Depends on my mood. So I'm going to take a couple of these gilded gems. These are gold gilded gems, and I'm just going to stick. Some people do two. Some people do three. I do two because I have trouble getting them straight usually and they go for longer isn't that just cute now if you want to you can stamp something in here or have a sentiment this one says thank you for your kindness and because I used the wrong um, I'm gonna pull down my sample here because I had the wrong wrong what ink and it smeared and stuff so that oh. they can see so you can see the copy I just love Oh, you know what else I forgot? I did this too. I had a little extra piece and I stuck a little piece in there. Now these fit in just regular envelopes. I know a lot of you crafty people make your own. I am not one that makes my own, but you could always stamp. And I'm going to get out the bumblebee here. It is cute. You could always stamp on this envelope since it's not. Yeah. It's just a white envelope. So I'm going to take one of the dragonflies. Well, goodness. Here was that piece. Here was the piece for the bottom of my <laughs> card. So I'm going to just come in here and maybe stamp that like this. Just to have a matching envelope. That's cool. Yeah. So who would like to win this card tonight? I don't know. Did they share last week? I don't know. I don't know. If you share my video, then right now to your wall. So then you have, I got to get this out of the way. I got to put that on the inside of that one. I'm pulling all these off. because Oh, they all do. Me, 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 me. me. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay so cute and what I love about this is sometimes I just want to check in with somebody so this size card for me I like because I can send a little note without having to be wordy I'm not real wordy of a person except when I'm on live apparently <laughs> okay so here you want a little look at I got a little Easter Bunny for thank you no. So let's go on to the next card. I'm glad you like that one. Well, this one, I'm not going to do any um, celebration items. It's just, it's fun. So this little uh, snail bit bundle, let me just pull it out first. I always try to talk in between. I'm going to be using the DSP that comes. This is Snail Mail Designer Series paper. And this has some really fun prints on it. Where did our mascot go? Our mascot? Who? Snail. Oh, I threw him away. <laughs> Sorry. So it's got like some that, huh? really pretty, and I really love the mushrooms. So I was telling people before... The mushrooms in this, i got to show you this piece, because we're going to be using that tonight, and this piece. The mushrooms, come on, I want all the ladies who had avocado green, harvest yellow, or no, what was it? Harvest gold, and there was a rust color, and I can't think of what it's called, from the 70s. Well, my mom used to do ceramics back then. I came from a crafty family, and she made a little salt and pepper shaker that were a little mushroom and I always loved them so every time I see this set I think of this so this set is called snailed it and it is um, you've got mail 
Happy Mail enclosed. I think this is the cutest thing ever for card makers. I'm going to be using the mushroom image tonight. It does come with a pair of matching dies. You guys saw that I made the little envelopes on the um, slimline card. But tonight I'm going to just do a regular size card. So it snailed it. If you purchase them together, you do save 10% off on the bundle. But I didn't want to use any of the sentiments. I'm making, I'm going to use the sentiment from Many Mates. And I'm going to use the thanks from this. So this one again is one of those um, that you get the die and the stamp set for 10% off when you buy them together. I'm going to just. says her set comes tomorrow. Oh, good. Well, then she'll have an idea. You'll have an idea to do. So we're going to use blends this time, which means we're going to, let's see if I can remember sizes because I didn't mark this down. So I've got a card base. This is for the A2 card. So it's an 8.5 by 11. Cut it half at 5.5 and, and then fold it in half at 4 and a quarter. And I'm just going to burnish that down. I get a question for you guys. Do you use this end or do you use this end? The pointed end or the the rounded end? You showed end? me how to use the pointed end, so that's what I use. Well, that's how I was taught, but I have seen people recently using the other end and I thought, really? Huh. Okay, so I'm going to start with these mushrooms and because I'm using the blends, which is different from the watercolor pencils that I was using, I'm going to be using the Memento to Tuxedo <coughs> Black. And we're going to... Uh, point it, point it, point it, point it. Pointed? I do too. I use the pointed, but I see people just use them willy-nilly. Rule breakers. Everybody's pointing here. Okay, good. Well, then we got some good oh, pointy people. Janet uses the middle. Janet. Wow. I wonder why. Why, Janet? I Janet, want to know. Why, do you use <laughs> why, Janet? We need to know. Okay, that goes down there. Okay, so I've just, isn't this just the cutest little mushroom image? So I'm going to start with this, and Bill, you just keep talking. I'm going to be using light granny apple green, and you tell me why she uses it. <laughs> why? Why, why? Is everyone asking? So I'm not doing any blending with these. I'm literally just coloring in. Now, somebody said that they had uh, the black on the back end of it. On the back end there. Rub off on their card. The, the black end. You know what? Yeah, look at Because here's one. It does kind of come off. Mm -hmm. This is burnt in. So, but yeah, it does kind of come oh. off. She what? does it because it fits her hand better. Oh. Well, I never thought about that. So that, okay, you're excused from incorrectly using it. <laughs> we'll let you go. Okay, so I just went over the little grass there with the green also. And then let's do, this is real red, dark real red. Joyce says she uses the middle. Does she? For burnishing. Yeah, that's, I don't know, I always use the tip. That's how I was taught. And the person who taught me actually uses it any way she grabs it. So maybe it's just who's rushing around and convenient some people. But I was taught to use that end, and I just wondered, that's all. So I'm not doing any blending, I'm just kind of coloring. Because it's an alcohol-based marker, though, I'm very quick up by the, and small strokes, up by the um, black line. Will that pull that black line in? Well, the black line, you know, if it sits on there a while, it is ink, and it's going to run. Oh, okay. So I'm just going to do the top of this mushroom. I'm not going to color in underneath. Isn't it cute? Yeah. So cute. Okay. And then I'm going to do, this is Light Daffodil, and I'm going to do the same thing on the top of this one, not going on underneath. 
And because we do not have a blushing bride in the blends, and I definitely, I tried the blends that we have, but it didn't give me the color of blushing bride. So I'm going to use the stamp and write marker for the last one. And I'll hand you those. And I'll just take the brush tip of the stamp and write and go in here. And I'm going to do the top of this one too. I love it. It's pretty. It's just so cute. I like the colors better than mm -hmm. we had. I'm trying to think. Did we have a gosh, you know, I don't even remember. I think we had Harvest Gold Kitchen. I don't think it was the I don't remember. What did you have? Do you know when you were growing up? Uh, yellow and uh, white kind of gingham plastic plates. Nice. Yeah. Okay, I am using the two and a quarter circle punch to just cut that image out. We all know why I love the circles, because it doesn't matter if I did it right. I can put it in the circle and make that straight. Okay, I now have a piece of that DSP with the little mushroom end. On this side, it's a bunch of hello, but I wanted the little mushrooms on this. And this is where the Blushing Bride, and this is where I got the color combination, is the Blushing Bride, the Real Red, and then the Daffodil Delight. So we're going to go ahead and adhere this to our card base. Um, question. Okay. What's the difference between the markers and the blend? The blends are an alcohol-based marker, so you can actually blend them. The stamp and write markers are not alcohol-based. They're like a, a regular marker, and um, you can't graduate the color like you can with the alcohol-based markers. So this would be Stampin' Up's version of like the Copic markers, if they understand what that means. Okay. That's why I use the two different inks. I have stays on for for this little one that I did. You don't, but I would use the stays on. Well, actually, I use it with the memento too. But definitely with the alcohol, this is formulated. The memento is formulated to help it from smearing. And on my original card, I have a little smear because I had the wrong ink on there. Okay, so I just adhered that down, and I've got, oh, I've got a bunch of little pieces here. Now, you know me, I like layers. I didn't Did flag... You reach into your scrap bin there? Well, yeah. sometimes, yeah. Yeah. So, I really like layers, and I like kind of stuff not being centered, you know, perfectly on the thing. I'm just into that look. It's not always for everybody, but I'm just going to show you what I do. So I took, this I believe is an inch, this is an inch by four and a quarter piece of real red cardstock, and using my glue, I'm going to glue this to the top left side to create some layers here. So this is going to come up, and it's kind of wiggling and squiggling around on my card base, but get that so it's straight, okay? <clears throat> then I want to take, this is Pool Party, had to think of it, and this is three quarter inch, this was from my scrap bin, by four and a quarter, three quarter by four and a quarter. Look at how good I'm remembering this. That's right. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't need to deal with those. And I want to put that layer just coming off the side here really close, hugged up kind of close, with an even amount on top and bottom of the red showing, but coming and hanging down, okay? This was actually a card layout. You guys know I like to get my card layouts off of Pinterest. It was a card layout that was the other way. It was um, landscape, and I changed it up. So. They love the card so far. Well. Sometimes I think you just tell me that. No, I'm reading it right there. Oh, okay. I'm so loving this card already. That's Eldridge. <laughs> well, France. <laughs> 
She's such a sweetheart. Okay, so then I have a 3x3 three three of that DSP, but I want this Bermuda Bay because I'm going to pull this in, and I'm going to create even another layer. So I'm going to come down again right about here so that I have an even amount kind of from here and here. If you want to, um, you can cut a like a little shim but this one's going to be kind of covered up, so I didn't worry about it too much. Normally, when I have a couple of layers, I put another little under layer. So, kind of centered and kind of not, like so. Okay, off to the side. So, normally, if this was going to be where I finished it, I would want that to, to match up instead of slope right here. But I'm going to be covering most of this, so it's not going to matter too much because there was enough of a room here for this to lay flat. So let's do a couple of things first. Let me take out that thanks that I was telling you about with the Bermuda Bay. And this is just a scrap that I had. You guys know about scraps. It looks it's like it's about three quarter inch. And I am just going to hopefully stamp that image straight. Not too bad, huh? It's like maybe I do this for a living or something. How come you don't put it all over the paper, the, the green glue? You just do the edge. Um, this stuff is super sticky tacky. So I live in a climate that is extremely humid. It can be in the winter too, but mostly in the summer. Mm -hmm. And if I use like a snail or something, it just kind of, the card kind of starts to come apart. This stuff is so tacky. As long as I'm getting those edges down, it doesn't, I've never had it come apart. So um, sometimes I have things, um, with our old snail. I don't, I haven't ever used like our, our, um, our and, new stuff. Probably saves money by not using so much. Well, <clears throat> yeah, this is also a lot less inexpensive if you can get yourself to learn how to use it. When I first did it, or when Bill still does it from time to time, I goop you, it. you goop it and you make a mistake. But if you, when you, when you, practice and you just make that small bead around your edges, you will find that this stuff goes really far. So it's less expensive than snail. So I mean, stamp and seal. And, That's uh, why. Joy says just a dab will do. Just a dab will do ya. That's right. So I'm going to take this and I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. I always, when I'm doing something and I'm stamping, sometimes I have a little extra here. So but I am not going to flag for all of you people. What? I, I was know. like looking for the, for the thing. Where's it the ain't flag? happening it ain't this time. Flag. No flag. No flag. So. <sighs> let's throw that in there. Okay, so let me bring this back in. So, again, just to have these strange lines and interest, I'm going to put this one so that this now, I've got all these little steps in this card, and I'm gonna put that one there, and then we're gonna take this image, and I'm gonna take a few dimensionals, and the other thing about the blends, definitely have a protected surface that you're working on because they it will soak through. So this is gonna go here. So I want to use my glue. What's that called again? Tombow. This is called um, Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. It's multi purpose. So it's got a pen tip and a broad tip. I never use the broad tip, I always use the pen tip. <clears throat> Now I've got my little stair step there. Oh, question. Does stamping up still sell the little paper trimmer? Um, they do not. That was a special when you joined last year during celebration. And so they do not sell that little one. They sell the, I'll show you here in just a second. Let me put this on. 
So now I'm going to overlap this with this little image showing. So the interest in this card, for me, um, I mean, some people really like symmetrical, but for me, there's so much interest because there's, I don't like how that's laying. There we go. There is steps all around, but yet I have a circle image. So back to whoever asked that. This is the super lightest, easiest trimmer that we have. I mean, that we ever had, and it and it does have a score on there. Okay. I love this thing. The thing that I like is it goes out to 17 inches, actually 17 and a quarter. So this is awesome. Okay, so now we've got that on there. Loving the layout. Isn't this just a cute little layout? And the one that I saw was like this, only it didn't have the thanks, and I just changed it and made it my own. So we're going to stick a few of these little resin hearts on here. Oh, that's cute. Isn't it cute? These things are cute. I think they're on back order, but they are coming back in. So don't sweat because every time I have a live someone says it's on back order I understand about these things with back orders well, especially when they're popular right I mean the best thing honestly for best selection is when a new catalog oops, wow. when a new catalog comes out or a um, like a sale goes on early shopping is gonna get you the best selection bottom line so <laughs> now if you wanted to yeah when the catalog comes out that's an all-nighter yeah i'm i'm up <laughs> i'm up early to order from the catalog okay so the only other thing that you could do if you wanted to and i don't because i like this color and i want it to stay rich is maybe a clear wink of stella on here i think that would be pretty so the whole point was to to think outside the zone instead of just doing cards that are centered and, and it's a mat, you know, um, these aren't fun folds, but they're definitely fun with some imagine, imagine, imagination, imagination, there we go. And um, another thing is, is you could stamp like the snail on the outside of the envelope on this one, or you can snap the Stamp him. Words are very hard tonight. <laughs> um, yeah. On the inside and if too. A memo, they get the order early. Right. So if you are thinking about signing up, I mean, he, you could you would order early. You would get stuff ahead of time. That's why I always tend to have stuff, um, because we get to order first before it goes to the public. So a lot of times I don't have to face as many of the back order issues as the general population does. Okay, so to um, order from me, there is a Shop Now button right here on my Facebook page. If you want to do that, please use this host code. Um, it's at the end and it'll say apply host code. You can put it in there um, right before you check out. Um, what else, Bill? YouTube. Four days left Four days of left. celebrations to get the freebies. Um, Four days left to sign up? To get that special for signing up. And then four days left to get into my... Uh, appreciation, appreciation celebration days. appreciation Woo. so I have put your names in here we didn't have as many shares last week so I'd love some more shares share to your wall be sure to tell me you shared um, so that your name gets in here so Bill's gonna draw out a couple of names okay here we go all right Ooh. Becky freeze oh do you know Becky have you seen Becky I don't, okay I have. Becky I'm unfamiliar with you but um Please get me your address so that I can send you this little um, card. And who's this? Laura Land. Oh, all right, Laura. Laura. And Laura, I'm going to be sending you this card. So, you guys, I really appreciate very much stopping by. I will be back here on Friday at 4 with another card demonstration. Um, those are usually very quick. And then um, we will be back next Wednesday night. So... Have a wonderful week, and I will see you Friday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.